Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, view.js series uh, in Laravel 5.8 and uh, uh, in this video we are going to start posting data uh, to uh, means uh, to our database uh, with view.js and for that we are going to use Axios uh, uh, JavaScript okay uh, that replaces Ajax okay so uh, right from the beginning we will start with the beginning uh let's uh, do step by step and first of all i will run the project i will run the uh, xamp okay so i will start uh, from the beginning okay so let's run the xamp first okay uh, then you can open any of your project and i am opening my e-commerce project and if you uh, if you are aware of the e com e series that we have done so far, then you can also open that e-commerce project that we have done so far. Otherwise, you can also open your own project, okay? But you need to follow the earlier video uh, of installation of uh, Node.js and View.js uh, so that you can uh, able to uh, run View.js uh, means programs, okay? So uh let's see i'm going to run my laravel 5.8 project okay so i will simply run my laravel 5.8 project okay so also i'm going to put the project in subline i'm going to uh yeah i'm going to remove this one that i have my this is my tested project where i am testing everything with view.js now okay so sample 5.8 project uh, i have added here and now you just need to uh, open and yeah i can close everything else okay so yeah so now here i'm going to open this one yeah, still running. Yeah, now it is open. I will open. Okay, so let's open and it will take few minutes. And in the last video, you have seen uh, we able to uh, pass uh, some message from view.js. Here we have passed test message. Uh, from app.js we have written uh, some code in app.js of view.js code we have written and we have passed that test message uh, to contact blade file to show the message here okay and in this video we are going to post our form our form we are going to post our form with uh, with view.js okay so uh, like uh, we are now posting with the form action but uh, with view.js we will not uh, post with form action uh, we will instantly post to our database like ajax like we used to do in ajax but uh, we will not take ajax help we will take uh, axios help okay and uh, you must know about the axios axios uh, is uh, actually replaces ajax as a javascript library to interact with the server to send and get HTTP request from the server means uh, like uh, we are having some database and uh, okay so I will explain you what we are going to do uh, open the uh, contact page and you see the form here and uh, we are having database as well we will open our database as well okay so uh, Let's open the database first, and then I will explain you uh, what is our purpose, why we are using Axios, what is the role of view.js, and uh, means how to do everything. Okay, so here I can open this sample is my database, and okay, so yeah, so. So far, uh, you have seen that all the tables, but we don't have inquiries table so far. We don't have, but we will create one 
to post the data means contact us uh, up till now we are just sending the email but we are going to save uh, our in our means contact us inquiries in the inquiries table as well that we will create okay but the data in the inquiries table there are two ways to post the data one way is to post uh, uh, in fact there are three ways to post the data one way uh, like we can submit the form and uh, in function we are going to write that laravel query and uh, that uh, will post the data into our table and that will require some kind of a refresh okay and and that will post the data and the second way is to post the data with ajax okay that you all that we have all know we have also done earlier that we can post the data with ajax we can simply call in jquery ajax uh, we are going to call in jquery and uh, we can uh, simply pass the data and can uh, means uh, means post the data with ajax as well but now the third way is to post the data with view.js uh, along with axios and that is uh, that view.js uh, and axios the laravel recommends to use as uh, these are most uh, more fast and secure so uh, we are going to use this one we are going to try uh, means uh, this thing for posting the data okay so uh, let's start working on it and you will see in the video that how we are going to achieve this okay so uh, first of all uh, we will create one more form like this because i don't want to uh, change the functionality of this form this form uh, means we will make the copy of this form and uh, we'll use that form uh, okay so what i'm going to use i am going to create the another uh, file like contact bit file i'm going to create the another file like uh, i'm going to create a post bit file okay i will create here post bit file okay so and here i am uh, in contact bit file i'm going to remove uh, that thing from the contact bit file because we will keep it in the same way okay and this one we are already having in uh, post bit file but uh, we will open uh, we will update this form okay so uh, we will not use any kind of such action we will not use and in web.php file as well like we are using this page contact action uh, that page contact route and we uh, will now uh, use the another route like this one okay and and here i am going to uh, write uh, display post page okay post kind of route we will add and display post page and we will write like for view dot js okay and here as well page and here i am going to like page post and here i am going to add like add post function okay so this one and now this route i am going to uh, use here but i am not going to do like this i don't require any kind of action here okay we will not do from here action i am going to remove okay so here uh, in this form i am going to uh, add a method i am going to not add like this but i will add yeah me after method post i'm going to add here v on submit okay dot prevent equal to add post okay so this one will take it to the add post method okay this one this one is the add post and it will take uh, this one to here in this function and here you can see that we on it oh sorry not this one but it will uh, we will uh, do here and here we are going to uh, it will take us to here means here we will use still uh, we will update this code and here we will call this method okay this add post method so 
it will prevent that action and it will take us to add post method that we will uh, use in app.js okay uh, and for uh, these also uh, we need to update and uh, here uh, we need to use our another syntax okay so uh, we can search here as well uh, in google because post data with access view DBS. because we don't remember everything we can uh, search here as well and it will really help us okay so here as well we need to update the form here you can see that uh, they have also done in this way so we have many ways to do uh, okay so we can also do like this and here also we can uh, add that method add post okay one and the same thing not much difference and here we will use me v model equal to name instead of name okay uh, so here we are going to replace this one with v model okay and we are going to replace all names with uh, v model okay and all this we can replace like this v model equal to email v model equal to subject and v model equal to message and v model equal to uh, submit okay so this one we don't require we can remove this one okay that is enough and here we can use uh, button as well okay uh, because uh, that will be because we are not uh, using any form you can use submit as well but we will use button okay and we can close button and we can here write submit okay and value we can remove as well okay now we will check here and we'll see uh, no means we uh, see here okay now uh, sorry sorry not this one uh, we will open that different file page post uh, we have made the new one but we still need to add in cms controller file in the same way like we have added contact and so we just uh, uh, make the similar page and here we will do like this and here we are going to add post uh, add post in fact add post okay like this okay so this one we can add here and here we will just get it like this and all the validators and as uh, we can remove because we don't require at this time okay and this one also we can remove we don't require and okay that is fine this one also we can remove we don't require here in the pages contact uh, we in place of contact we will use that post okay and that is all fine this one we don't require okay so now it is clear and we have made some of the changes in add post and uh, now we can use and here as well okay see now our new form is ready and we can also uh, write here uh, so that it will be clear like post data post data uh, via uh, that uh, view dot j2 and x here okay no spelling are correct a x l o s okay fine so here we just Make changes post data via view to gs2 and xs okay so uh, now uh, this form is ready and now we will make changes here uh, we are having that method add post method we are using and now we just need to make changes here in app.js okay first uh, uh, we will uh, print something in uh, here so that we can test that whether it is working fine or not okay so uh now we will use here some like do like comma okay and here we will use methods and after methods this one like this and here we will use that function 
standard method that we have created add post and in add post we are going to alert okay here we will add test post okay like this and now we are going to uh, see whether it will work fine or not and when whenever we will uh, uh, click on this one submit it must come but it is not coming because uh, uh, we still need to run that uh, a few of the commands we need to run and only then it will work okay so we uh, one command we can run like that is uh, npm run watch and okay and uh, that will show everything all progress will uh, come and uh, that mix build will show you that it is actually working or not and one more command we will run that uh, that is npm run dev or that is for development and or npm run production that is for production we will run uh, npm run uh, dev so that uh, we can uh, means uh, so that node.js will run and or oh, we can run view.js these commands are necessary to run view.js and so that will it will uh, always uh, there in our server and also when we will upload our project with vendors folder then uh, means uh, nothing to run like this then uh, it will automatically run when you will make your website online okay so don't need to worry but offline you need to run like this again okay, now we will refresh and we will see here uh, whether it will start working or not okay so you can here as well we can open okay. like this now i'm going to run once again submit but still it is taking us there it might be some issue we are going to see oh sorry for that and see here uh, this div id app is required uh, uh, in we need to embed form inside this div id app because we are using here app you can see that we are using uh, view in uh, view in our app id so we require to embed so we can do one thing this test message is not required but we will put it somewhere so we can put this test message uh, so that uh, uh, here we can also use it here. Yeah, we can use it here. Our test message. Uh, yeah, and here we are going to pass from view. Uh, and in view, I'm going to type this test message. This one like this. And and this div ID app ID. I'm going to add here in featured item okay and this one i'm going to remove and now you can check it out that our complete form is inside this id so i hope now it must work and if it is not clear then you can ask me okay see so, you now we have embed our form within the id and we have also displayed message here so she built successfully is also coming now and now we are going to check that whether it will work fine or not and uh, i'm going to move everything and we'll see here that post data we we are view dot js2 and xf is coming from view it is not here you can check it out it is not here it is coming from view and and now form is also inside that app id and now we are going to click on submit and you can see now it is working fine test post is now coming so it means that now our view.js is working perfectly and we are ready to post data uh, to our table okay so up till now i hope that everything is clear to you 
and we able to install view.js and all other things in the last video node.js and extra and in this video so far uh, we able to uh, post data means we able to make we able to means uh, we able to bring together all the things uh, so that we can now post data okay so now we can continue further and uh, now we will actual uh, means post the data and for posting the data we need to accept all the data from the form and we need to uh, get the data here 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 we need to get the data in our add post method in app.js in inside view okay and here for getting the data and uh, okay so let's see so uh, we can once again uh, can take help from here here you can uh, check it out uh, okay so mm, yeah fine okay so here uh, we will also post it like this like uh, uh, it has shown us to post the data so here uh, first of all we are going to post the single data uh, like it shown here and here i am going to uh, command this one or we can keep it like this and in see at post see every time if i save the file it shows us build successful okay so yeah, this is the thing that i am going to copy and we will see that it will post the data that we want okay so uh, this one i'm going to copy and uh we'll paste here okay uh, see here uh thing to go after here let's see add post okay here i want to here control shift m yeah it is looking fine this one all and this one and here we can do it like this and here uh we will give the sorry uh, so here we will give the url uh, here we are going to give the url like this this one we are going to give and here uh, this dot name okay so find that is wait post this one this one this one and okay so we are going to check it out and let's see that it will go there or not okay see now i'm going to add the task here and we'll click here in submit and here my god it is still not showing this Actually, my console is not working fine. I can open Firefox. Okay, I will open another browser because I will correct Chrome, but it will take some time. So I can open Firefox because of my console is not working that much fine. I'm going to see that which errors are coming in console and how we can resolve it. Okay, so here see too many errors are coming, but uh, we will check it out after clicking this one. Submit. Okay, so add post is not final. Okay, okay, fine. So we are going to solve input function. Fine. Hmm. Okay, so uh, sorry, that post now I'm not using that post now, and 
so that's why might be that's why this error is coming but i'm not sure but i'm going to change it what is our name here add post add post in place of post now i copy from there so this mistake i have made now i will refresh once again and we'll see uh, see this time is to come but i will check up a click on submit and nothing is coming still nothing is coming no. okay check network see here data is coming fine and you can see from it you can check it out that uh, which data is coming because it is coming empty because we are not sending anything i'm going to write my name and we'll try to post i'm going to clear and we'll uh, submit once again and here i'm going to check that whether which data is coming and here name is coming or not and uh, okay okay i i can try here as well you sometimes need to take help from both the browsers firefox as well as chrome uh, more things is going to uh, a complex thing you need to do like that and now i will do here as well uh, and now i am going to click on submit and here as well i'm going to open this one and I'm going to close this one and here you can see post and you can see that Amit Gupta is coming fine okay so in this way we able to get the data from our form but uh, here is one issue that only single data is coming but we want to post the multiple data so for multiple data we will search and we'll post but uh, my uh, see uh, just I want to explain that means you can get it easily here we are using that method at post that we are using and here we are using URL okay that we are using and we will also try it without uh, means that complete URL if we will do like this we can try that it will work or not and here I am going to uh, do once again and we will see that whether it will work fine or not I am going to refresh this page and now we will check it out I'm going to post once again I'm in Gupta and we'll click on this submit and before submitting I'm clearing once again and see here it is still going so we will do like this because then we can make it online like this only so uh, now I'm going to we are going to post data multiple data we want to post so uh, we can search here uh, post multiple data objects like this and now we can open another stack or flow link everything is there in stack or flow just we need to follow and need to implement in our code so easily okay so pass multiple parameters and we will straight away come to the solution and uh, we'll see here that uh, multiple data has been posted here as well okay so now i'm going to do in the similar way okay like it is given in the example so what i am going to do i am going to now uh, again uh, that add post after add post uh, url is there we can copy this one okay so after method uh, after method fine on submit okay fine and i'm going to remove everything like this and here i'm going to replace this one with this one like this okay and yeah fine like this okay so now we are going to do here here uh, comments is here but uh, Here I am going to use my URL once again, and uh, this is our URL uh, page post in place of this one. And uh, then here I am going to use my 
uh, name like uh, we are posting which data we are posting we will take we can name here we can fetch it from our post like name okay email subject and message name email subject and message okay name first we will do for two name and after that email email and here as well email okay and this one completed and here we can give name once again okay so now we are going to check once again and i'm going to refresh this form once again and we'll see uh, if it will work fine or not okay so now once again i'm going to uh, add now only a name and email okay Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to remove everything, and we'll post the data. Submit, and we'll see here. Still nothing is coming here. Hmm. Nothing is coming. Uh, we can open again like this. Again, we will press in Firefox so that we will come to know about the issue. Uh, one time more, nothing is coming, and we will check by. Again, we can add. Method. Oh, sorry again. Uh, I forgot to put the right method. Add post. We need to put only then it will work. Otherwise, it will not work at all. Okay, I'm going to refresh once again, and now we'll check once again. And clear everything. And now I'm going to check once again here. I'm going to put data. Okay. They don't see well dot com. And now I'm going to see going to post submit and see here the data has been posted this time correctly. You can see it's posted in array and it is really easy to pick in array. And we are printing all the data you can see here in our here it comes uh, without refreshing the pair it comes here with axios and view.js okay so finally we able to push the data uh, to uh, our function with axios and view.js okay so here we can put the other data as well and we can uh, do it here as well okay so name we have done email we have done and after that email now we will do for uh, subject and message as well okay so here we will do for subject okay subject this dot subject and after subject we will do for uh, message as well this dot message okay now all the data is done we we can able to send all the data okay yeah like this now we can save once again and we'll I'm going to refresh this form and we'll see that data is coming fine complete data must come now and i am going to add here here testing okay this is the test okay so we can now check that whether the data is coming fine or not i click on submit and we'll see and oh sorry this time it's not posted 
I will check once again. I think some issue is coming, that's why we will check it out. Subject this dot subject, and after that, oh sorry, messy, messy, and this dot messy. Now it is correct, okay. Now I'm going to refresh once again, okay. And we'll see now. Uh, now we'll fill once again. America. Okay. Now we are testing. This is the test. Okay. And now here I'm going to add, click on submit. And you can see all the data is coming fine in our function uh, with uh, post method of view dot js and xjs okay so now we able to finally uh, do this task up till here because this is the most uh, crucial thing because we can post the data in table easily after getting here but this part is really tough okay that we able to overcome okay so you can also and it is really helpful to post not only uh, from contact form. We can post login registers. Uh, we can post uh, uh, other form data. Means complete website forms we can do with view.js like this. And and also we can receive the data from view.js. And so in future, uh, my next uh, thing that we will do that complete thing, complete package like complete e-commerce website we are going to do with view.js in future not now after a few months we will start working on that but before that in this series we will uh, do all these kind of basic things so that when we start working on new e-commerce website in laravel 500 uh, you guys are going to uh, know that what is view.js actually okay so uh, so now uh so we will continue uh, on this thing in next video in next video uh, we are going to post the data we will create one table and we'll post the data uh, there in table with view.js like we are doing we will continue with this one in next video as well so that we can post the data and we will also view the data okay uh, with view.js as well okay i hope that everything is clear to you up till now and if you have any queries you can comment uh, under the video description i will surely reply to every query so it will take some time but i will do reply okay and always watch the video again if uh, few things are not clear i i also do this thing uh, means uh, try to means uh, study again and again to get the things and i always create the demo videos first to me show you this one okay then have a nice time Goodbye.